away. And uh, it takes the ship about 10 years to get ready for a two year sail. <laughs> April 27th out here at Angel Island State Park in San Francisco Bay. Waiting on a buddy to arrive with his sailboat. <clears throat> We've been waiting on him for 24 hours. <laughs> but I don't, can't really blame him because like I always say, you know, you, uh, a boat to do a, you know, two week trip, it takes like four weeks to get it ready to roll. But um, yeah, so we're right now we're just kind of out here on the just staying out of the sun because it's kind of brutal right now um got the dog resting right there but um it's called a Laya cove and you can anchor your boat up in here um sorry not anchor tap to the mooring ball and spend the night there's the next there's like china cove which is the next cove on the other side where you can actually drop an anchor they don't want you dropping an anchor in this cove for some reason um but this is it That's looking like northeast. And then over there, you got where the ferry boats come in. You can catch a ferry from um, San Francisco, mainly Tiburon. They come in from Tiburon multiple times a day. But you can catch a ferry and um, come in here. They got like a little snack bar, a spot where you can rent some bikes. And then you can go hiking all over this island. Um, flip the camera out here in a minute and show you outside but and then you can catch the ferry home and you know if you want to come out here for the day because there's no only way out here is obviously it's an island so the only way out here is by boat but um yeah so you catch a ferry in and then you can hike the island it's like an all-day thing and then they got barbecue pits and stuff out here but um you'd have to bring your own charcoal because they don't sell any of that here but they do have like a snack bar and stuff like that and then in the summertime, they have live music. But anyways, I'll give you a little glimpse here of outside. Got the paddle boards. sleeping out here tonight there's in this boat there's two bunks inside but it's kind of but they're like coffin bunks so they're not really that enjoyable to sleep in so we're going to pitch a tent <clears throat> on the back deck out here which we did last night and it was super comfortable so and then um yeah not a bad spot to spend a weekend the water's probably like 60 something degrees if you want to get inside but swim to the beach anyways that is it for now <clears throat> we'll touch bases with you later the sea lions are over there making their noise they kind of make the last night i was sleeping and i like woke up from this terrifying like moan you know you get like that split second of like terror i heard like this well, let me give you a backstory. So the sea lions sit on the docks and they rest all day and they sleep there at night and they make these odd golf noises. And they'll be like, bah! <laughs> like weird noises. And so I'm sleeping and I can hear like some, some birds like chirping up in the, in the, up here in the trees. And the water's lapping. You can hear the, the waves hitting the beach. And all of a sudden I hear like this, bah! And I'm like, what is that? Like a split second of terror. It sounded like somebody was getting thrown to the wolves or something. But um, <laughs> that's that. This is Mr. Tycoon. You've seen him in the past videos. He's the sailing cattle dog. Um, getting his afternoon nap in here. But um, anyways, I'm going to go back inside. Getting too much sun. You can probably see it in my face. But that's it. And uh, we'll touch bases with you later. Show you some more stuff. All right.
Well, here we are out here at Elia Cove on Friday night. We're just kind of setting up shop. We got the MREs. We're not eating those tonight. <laughs> we got a couple other boats out here. We're tied up. Uh, we got the Coonster. Lindsay up there, the ice maker ripping, the jackery doing its thing. We're just kind of setting up shop, kind of um, getting in, uh, set making house. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, not a bad spot to be, huh? Be nice. Well, here we are out here at um, Alaya Cove and Angel Island. Um, Chris and Rachel were supposed to come out here, but they're not going to be here until the morning. <laughs> but uh, just put some um, some flesh on the barbie here and just uh, some bell peppers, you know, real classy out here. Uh, we got the dog here. <laughs> we're eating off paper plates. That's how classy it gets. And we got a little Weber here smoking. But the view's not bad. There's a construction sign in the foreground there <laughs> saying... West and dock closed, please use slips. So we're being subjected to this uh, this construction sign while we're out here in this beautiful um, island paradise. But we're working through it, right? It's working all through. it's all setbacks that you can get through. I know, buddy. But anyways, I'm gonna get back to the food here, and um, yeah, pretty simple. Just some dude uh, bargain market steaks with. Um, New York's with um, some bell peppers, keeping it classy, right? But that's what, that's what you do. Oh, Bubba, you don't get any. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. All right, we're doing enough coffee here. We got uh, the San Francisco Bay Coffee Company and uh, Jet Boil. A little pour over. And then after this, we're headed back to port. We got to get a. Uh, New pull cord for the dinghy. I snapped it uh, yesterday. <laughs> so, that's on uh, this morning's agenda. Not a bad day out here, huh? Yup, yep, yep. So, got the jackery charging up pretty good, 79%. I got the solar panel connected to do it up there. And, um, yeah, let's see, I'll view outside. Yeah, not bad. All right, cheers. Well, we got Christo out there in his half uh, inflated dinghy trying to make it to shore. I don't think he's gonna make it, to be honest with you. Is he trying to do a mid pump here or what? Survival of the fittest right there, eh? <laughs> hey, man. The dog's going down with the ship, too. He's just going from like this. Oh, my God. We got our uh, sous chef over here. Just keeping an eye out. We got second in command here. And then uh, we got our Oreo cake up there. <laughs> That's for dessert. And this is the fishing boat turned uh, living um, situation for the weekend. We got a little sink over here, making that ceviche. And we got the driving station that is the kitchen at the same time. <laughs> And the bunks that we're not sleeping in because we want to sleep outside. And we got this dude that likes to cause a disturbance three, four, five hours out of the day. <laughs> Can you tell people about that? 
Okay. All right. You good boy. You good boy. But that's that. We got the um, ribs on the bob, eh? And, uh, yeah, we'll touch bases with you later when we get this ceviche made. Come on in. Come on. We want to go over there. Come on. Go up there. He's like, yeah, yeah, okay. I just want to come over here and hang out. <laughs> Alright, we got the barbecue fired up. Beautiful evening here on the Anchorage. Um, we got some uh, pork ribs here ripping on the Weber. And then we got some sushi grade tuna. We're gonna make some ceviche. What do they call it? Passant Crew. See how that tastes. We'll let you know. Little ceviche recipe I gathered up here. Um, Lindsay's down there cleaning up the stuff I just spilled. <laughs> yeah. But um, the Passant Crew. White onion. Cilantro, diced jalapeno. Uh, this one has tuna, sushi grade, tomato, pineapple, pineapple juice, oranges, and avocado with salt and pepper sprinkled on the top. Very good, very good. <laughs> very good. Very tasty. Mm-hmm. Mm <clears throat> well, that noise. We got half of the, or two thirds of the crew here. <laughs> he might be the, he might be the real captain. We don't know yet. He definitely puts in his his time though. He's got a lot of sea hours, you know, for being a cattle dog. And then uh, second in command up there. But. Uh, the real captain is this sunburned <laughs> Irish dude. Anyways, um, <clears throat> we're going to end the night here with, uh, oh, there's dog hair on that one. Um, <laughs> dude, who doesn't end the night when you're a salty sailor with like uh, some kind of whiskey drink? But um, of course, I always like to be weird. And, and make it awkward, but we're gonna do some Jack Daniels here. This is the single barrel select Tennessee whiskey, 47% alcohol by volume, 750 bottle. So we're just gonna touch a little bit right in there, and that looks like a shot. It's a touchable, okay. We're gonna touch another one here. Boom, 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 boom. All right, all right. And then we're gonna take some of this. Uh, Coca-Cola. Where's this one from? Mm, product of Mexico. And we're going to add that in there with the ice. You know? Doesn't take much, right? You just don't move it. <laughs> just add it in there. And then you feel like you're in high school again. Not bad. Anyways, we'll catch you all tomorrow morning when we fire up the breakfast. But <clears throat> I'm going to get some rest, huh? Cheers to you. Coon, what do you say, buddy? <laughs> oh, yeah. The pr premium Oreo ice cream cake. At least that's what it's advertised as. <laughs> Pretty good, though. Come on, put it in your mouth. There you go. Mm. Getting a scoop here. Ooh, little airplane. Mmm. I'm going in hard on this one. Mm hmm. Get another one. Mmm. Mmm. Get to the Oreo. This is going to be a mess. <laughs> Buddy, 
So you can't have any. Mm -mm. Boy, this is fun. This is really intense. This is good. Mmm. The sea lions over here are making weird noises. Yeah. They woke me up last night. I thought somebody was dying <laughs> on the beach. It was a moment of sheer terror. Like a split second of it. And then I'm like, oh no, that's just the sea lions that we share this place with. But they're pretty cute. Anyways, we're going to kill this cake and then um, shut it down for the evening. Set up, set up the bed. Go to sleep and um, call it quits. I've burned ribs, made ceviche, and um, now I have ice cream cake melting all over the place. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's time to time to shut her down. Mmm, diabetes, one hundred percent. We're calling it quits. Anyways, lights out. See you later. Good night. Mm hmm. Cool. Say good night. Anyways, see you later. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Waking up here in the tent on the deck of the boat. Peaceful night out here. <laughs> How you doing, bud? Oh, man. Beautiful. Get some coffee fired up here shortly. Yeah. Well, here we are at Elia Cove, uh, Sunday. Spent the night at the balls, pulled in here for a change of scenery at the docks. We're doing pork belly for breakfast with uh, some taters and um, some eggs. And I'm gonna throw some onions in there and I got some garlic that should be good to go. Nice morning here at the island. We got the deckhand down there for usual running around. And then, um, get us over here. And the baby seals got cleared out from some of the dogs that went over there. But, uh, yeah, that's that. Oh, look who it is out there. <laughs> well, here we are, leaving, um, Angel Island. It was a good weekend to stay, but uh, now we're going to go hopefully sail and uh, finish off the weekend on the sailboat.